What's up, guys? Welcome back to Pound for Pound House. So, Kamzad Chimayev posted a picture of Israel Adesanya, and then he also posted a picture of Kamaru, him trying to choke Kamaru Usman. Um, is that signs for 300? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But if that fight was to happen, how would it go? Well, um,. It'd be an interesting fight at that. Um, Izzy did say he doesn't know when he's coming back. Well, he did. He did say he's taking a break. Um, he has been out for a little bit now, obviously after the Sean Strickland loss. Um, but does he come back for three hundred? Because I think it'd be a great time to come back, even though it hasn't been a long, long layoff. But it'd be great. I mean, if we see him back here, you know, as soon as three hundred. I don't think anybody's complaining. I think we're all super happy to see that happen. But the reality is, if this fight was to happen, how would it go? Well, here's my thoughts on it. I think that if this fight is a five-rounder fight, there's a big potential that Izzy can win it. Um, Because as we've been seeing with Hamzat, that... The longer a fight goes, typically he gasses out more because he uses like he's a burst of energy type of fighter. So he'll probably be gas out maybe by the second or third. Um, you know, it all depends on how his cardio, you know, how much he trains on his cardio. But from based off his previous fights, he's probably not going to go all five or he probably will go all five. But he's probably going to be super gassed out by then. And Izzy's pretty good at controlling his cardio and he can he's had multiple five round fights where. He's obviously showed that, you know, what type of caliber fighter he is. Not saying that Kamzad's not a good fighter. Now, there's a big chance that fight ends in one. Because as we saw with Kamaru Usman, that fight was almost over. And Kamaru Usman is an amazing wrestler. And Hamzad almost had him finished. He was on his neck. But, you know, Kamaru with his amazing wrestling was able to slam him right on his head. Which ultimately saved him. So... Does Izzy do the same thing? I really doubt it. Izzy has gotten better at defending takedowns, but does not mean he's, you know, on the level of Hamza. So a five-rounder fight is a big chance for Izzy because of the, the gas tank issues. Um, obviously, it all depends on how that first round goes. Um, but as the fight progresses, Izzy has the striking. Um, he can utilize his range really well. He's good. He's obviously a kickboxing champion. And um, he knows how to control that, control the ring very well. The problem is, is that him keeping Hamzat off of him. Because Hamzat on him means, you know, relentless pressure. He's like worse than Kobe. Even though Kobe hasn't done shit. In his last fight, but that's a different story. He's worse than Kobe when it comes to pressure. Um, and he just, like, he's like a, like glue. He's like glue. He just sticks on you. He won't get off. That means if Izzy cannot control Hamzat's wrestling, then he's out in one or maybe two rounds. But now if he makes it past the two, that's when the fight really gets interesting. And if it makes it past three... It gets really interesting to see Hamza go five rounds. I'm sure a lot of us want to see that. So please, UFC, make this fight happen if we can. UFC 300. Um, listen, we got some good cards lining up, good fights lining up for that card. Um, this would be just like a a great cherry on top of whatever supposable title fights they have going on uh so i mean and then obviously this fight would be for like a number one contendership because if hamza beats izzy he's gonna go fight whoever the champ is at the time and if obviously izzy beats hamza then he's fighting for the belt back again but i don't know man this fight would be so interesting i just hope they do it i really hope they do it because it's, I'm sure the fans want to see this. It's been like, we've been waiting for this for the longest. Because Hamza's been talking shit 
and he's been saying stuff to him. So I would love to see this. Like, and I think Izzy's like, you know, obviously Izzy wants to fight him. So at some point, and Izzy knows it's inevitable, it'll eventually happen. So shit, let him have at it, man. I want, I want to see it. Um, but yeah, please UFC make this fight happen. UFC 300. That would be super awesome. Um, we all would love to see it. Come on, Dana. Get back in that war room and make it happen. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. What do you guys think would happen between them two? Um, it's just it's just so hard to say who wins. Um, you know, it's because it, it's just... It's just that there's obviously two different types of styles of fighters, but it's just there's so many ways of this fight going, you know? So I really, I can't, I don't really have a pick right off the bat. But I would say, let's make it happen so we don't have to guess any of this stuff. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. If Do you guys think that Hamza wins? Do you think Izzy wins? Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video. Also, if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can see all the new videos I upload.